Good afternoon, hockey fans. Welcome to the Crosslink County Sportsplex, where it's game five of six of the second annual Northwest Junior Hockey League Showcase. This one features the home side, the County of Grand Prairie, JDA Kings. They're taking on their rivals from Peace River, the North Peace Navigators. The Navigators coming off a win yesterday afternoon to open up the showcase. Taking a big 7-2 decision over the Dawson Creek Junior Canucks. For the Kings, they're looking for their first win of the showcase. They fell in the evening contest on Saturday. That one by a score of 3-1 to one to the Fairview Flyers. We're just about set for puck drop here. The Kings up front. Going to start with Justin Rudick on the left side. Bailey Hartman at center. And Blake Gillingham on the right. Face off one by Hartman as the Kings work it in. Now it's working back the other way. This is Ferguson working into the corner puck. Slips off his stick. Back down to Ferguson in the corner. In front. That's Pichette. Not able to get a shot on net though. Kings retained possession, come back the other way. Big hit along the boards there. Rudick finishes his check on Pichette. Navigators come back the other way. Puck jammed up in the neutral zone. The Navs come back away with it. Schoon working the puck ahead, but it's stolen. Turned over once again. Teams continue to go back and forth in the neutral zone here. The Kings go offside here. We get our first whistle of the first period, a minute and one second in. Faceoff's going to come out just outside the Kings line. It's Dylan Bellarose here taking the draw against Friesen. The Navs win and dump it in. Noski able to hold the line, shot on. That one stopped by Wyatt Fournier. Pass in front, shot stopped again by Fournier. Bellarose finds himself wide open in the slot. Fournier up to the challenge, swallows it up and we're gonna get a face off here. Face off, one by the Navs. Quick shot off. That one goes just wide off the stick of Austin Doan. Kings able to dump it out. Chasing after it. It's Austin Cootie's able to play it back to Noski. That one gets pinned up along the boards. Navs work out quickly. Across the line, shot. Put aside by Fournier. Puck jammed along, along the half wall as Doan loses the puck as he gets knocked off. Kings work back the other way. This is going to be an icing call against the Kings. Face off to come to the blocker side of Wyatt Fournier. Face off won by the Navigators. The Schlack tries to work around the Kings net. Doesn't get it. Dumas though working from the point. Shot on, stopped by Fournier. Kings working back the other way, trying to still looking for their first shot on net in this game. It's Thomason has the puck stripped away from him behind the Navigators net. 
Spinning away is Briscoe as he tries to work it out for the Navs. He does, working it out to the neutral zone. Breaking in is Dorham. He loses the puck. King's able to hold. Shot on, gloved down by Christopher Key. And he hangs on, that's his first save of the game. It's Bailey Hartman able to get that slapper through. Face off to the blocker side of Key. One by the Kings. Pinned up along the boards. Paul's able to get it out for the Navs. Kings retreat. Back to the neutral zone. Fawcett works it up ahead. The Navigators are called offside there. So I believe it was Pichette who entered the Kings zone a little bit too early. Ferguson lines up, takes the draw against Graw. Navigators come away with it. Fawcett dumps it in for the Navs. Kings work it out. Kuhn back to get it for North Peace. Trying to work that up ahead to his forward group, can't. Navs back to reset. Fawcett across the Coon. Ferguson breaking in. Got nobody with him though. Puck goes back to the Kings. Kings enter the zone, key. Nice easy blocker save. On the point shot. Puck jammed up in the corner, out in front. Shot just high. Over the other key, that was Hartman with a chance in front for the Kings. Navs quickly work it out. And the Kings dump it right back in. This is Kuhn. Trying to chip that one up ahead. Puck bouncing though, goes back to the Kings. Bellarose chasing after a chance. Moves that puck back out in front. No navigator there to pick it up. Puck gets worked along the half wall. It's Bellarose breaks out. Two on three here. Puck goes off the netting. And we got a stoppage in play with 14.52 remaining in this first period. Still scoreless, Kings holding a 2-1 edge in shots on goal. Face off to the blocker side of Wyatt Fournier. Navigators come away with it. Trying to break out was Tanner Davey. Not able to slip the puck through the Navigators defense. Nearly turned over there. Navigators not quite over the red line. That's gonna be called an icing. Bringing it all the way back to the North Peace end. Face off one again by the Navigators. Manin works it across.
Fighting for that puck there was Doan not able to come away with it. Him and Heaton fighting for it and the Kings come away with it. Puck locks in the feet there for a little bit. Now it's North Peace breaking in here. Anderson fighting with Heaton. Heaton wins that battle. Begins to break out for the Kings. Little chip and chase key out to play it. Fawcett up ahead to Briscoe. To Schlack who comes across the line. The Navs shot on, that one gets blocked. I believe Briscoe had his shot blocked by his own teammate there. Yellow knee. Navs break back in. Shot on, that one stopped by Fournier. He gets a piece of the glove on it. Continuing to cycle are the Navs. Sustaining a little bit of pressure here. In the King's end. In a race for it is Fawcett, he beats Brody Thompson to the puck. And the Navs chip it out. Chippen chasing after it. Kings trying to maintain possession, they can't. Chance in front, the puck stolen. Off of the stick of Ferguson. Tried to come away with it, couldn't see who that was. Looked like Kyle Shea. Able to get a stick on it. Gets a chance, but Key in position, makes the save and covers up. Graw battling for it behind the net with Ferguson. That gets worked up ahead. We're gonna get a penalty here. That's gonna be a tripping call, I believe. No, it's gonna be a hook. Coming to the Navigators. That's Aaron Kuhn. He's gonna take the first penalty of the game here. With 12.07 to go in the first period, still scoreless here at the Cross Lake County Sportsplex. The Kings set up on the power play. Rudick takes it back to the point. Sets up, he works it across. That pass intercepted. It's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one battle here. Schlack, killing just a little bit of time here. Trying to go one on four. Is successful. As he goes off for a change. Kings breaking back in the other way. Wrapping around the net. As Rudick works along the half wall now. Pass down low. Gillingham pass out in front. That one goes just wide of the net. Another chance. That one goes wide as well. As Rudick was looking for Thompson in front. Navigators break back two on one. That pass deflected. Kings don't have numbers as they're changing. There's 45 seconds remain on this first power play of the game. Gillingham behind the, the Navigators net. Works back out, pass across. That one just missed by Rudick. Gillingham back to the point. Navigators able to just clear the zone. So power play is nearly set to expire here. Just nine seconds remaining. It's 
Kings hold the zone. Chipped out. Not quite. There's a shot on, stopped by Key through traffic. Kings gather the rebound, continue to cycle. As we're back to even strength. Schlack. Doesn't have anybody to pass to, so it goes back. Bouncing puck. Works along the half wall. Navigators retain. Pass up ahead. Schlack can't get it on his stick. No icing call as a couple of Navigators will get a change in here. 9.22 to go here in this opening period. Shots four to three in favor of the Kings. Still scoreless, however. That puck comes free along the half wall. Navigators gain possession of the puck. Kings retain. Puck goes in behind the net of Wyatt Fournier. Kings not quite able to come away with it. Scraw had the puck lost in his skates. Pass out in front. No navigator there to pick it up. Kings work back the other way. Navigators dump and chase it in. Pass out in front. We're going to get another penalty here. This one is going to go against the Kings, it appears. It's going to be a holding call. Going to Peter Davis. So the Navigators will get their first chance on the man advantage here with 7.54 to go. They win the draw, set up quickly. Fawcett working back at the point. Pass across, that one stopped by Fournier. Fawcett back to Pachette. Down to the side of the net. Soft pass and the Kings not quite able to get it on the backhand to get it out. That one they do though, they clear. Ross applying a little bit of pressure, but the Navigators break back the other way. This is Cunningham, shot stopped by Fournier. Another shot, that one goes just wide. Cunningham in the corner, looking for a teammate. Back to the point. Fawcett, slapper. That one goes just wide. Pichette, shot on net, that one's deflected wide by Ferguson. Fawcett to Pichette, stopped by Fournier. Good power play here from the Navigators. Already able to get a couple shots off. That one blocked, just batted out to safety. The baseball skills there from Brady Ross. Clears the zone and penalty killer is able to get a change. 30 seconds to go in this power play. North Peace is forced back into their own end. Doan gives it back to Daniel Noski. He tries to split the defenders. He does. Doan works behind the net. That's to Bellarose. Shot, that one's deflected. Noski with the point shot has it deflected by the defender. That helps it so the Kings can clear and getting a little bit of pressure now as the 
Kings penalty has come to an end. Both teams 0 for 1 on the man advantage to start. That one goes all the way down to the Kings zone. Benny Yellowney. They hold, that's Yellowney, wide open in front, he scores! Well, the play all started with Yellowney blocking the shot in his own end of the ice. It bouncing down. As the Navigators had possession in the King's zone, it's Dawson Briscoe finds Yellowney wide open in front with a great chance. Yelony, that's his first of the season. That's one nothing for the Navigators. Yellowney with his first. As the Navigators up one to nothing. They hold the, they hold the zone again. Fight for it in the corner. Navigators come away with it again. That's back to the point. Paul shot goes just wide. Anderson pins the defender up along the boards. It's Bauman. Bauman able to come away with it. Not quite able to clear, and that's going to be an offside call. 4.28 to go. Here in the first period, Navigators lead one to nothing. Off that goal from Benny Yellowney. Fires home his first of the season. Kings breaking in, working it into the corner. Puck is jammed up on the on the half wall. It's poked away by Pettipaw, but. Kings can't hold the zone, they're forced to retreat. Chip and chase. That's gonna be an icing call. Kings win the draw. Able to just clear the zone. Nav's working right back in. As the Kings will retry. Shot goes just wide. Off the stick of Bailey Hartman. Kings will go off for a change. Got a couple of fresh legs. Ferguson, he's sprung. In all alone, shot. That one goes just high on the backhand. Heaton was in pursuit. Didn't allow Ferguson to get the forehand shot off. It goes just high. Icing waved off as the Kings touch it. I believe it was Heaton who got it. Tip the puck in. Fournier is going to gather up that loose puck and get a face off here with 2.32 to go. 
Shots eight to four in favor of the North Peace Navigators. We'll also lead one to nothing. Off the goal from Benny Yellowney. Face off won by the Navigators. That's worked around the net. Doan in behind, picks it up. Finds Jonathan Noski. Those two continue to play pass behind the Kings net. Doan is pinned up along the boards and we're gonna get a whistle here. Not exactly sure what for. Perhaps the puck was pinned up along the boards a little bit too long for the referee's liking. We'll get a draw in the King zone. Bella Rose works it around along the boards. Trying to work it up to Dumas, but Kings break back and might get a chance here as Davey finds it in front. We're gonna get a penalty here. This is gonna be coming to Chase Manin. He gets an interference call. So he knocked the Kings player right into the Navigator's net. He's gonna pick up two minutes in the sin bin. Again, free interference. Kings 0 for 1 on the power play so far in this game. Will get their second opportunity to work for two minutes or less. Navigators win the faceoff. That's chipped out. Schlack, he's got the step on it. Shot stopped by Fournier. Kings decide to regroup. Dorham works it around the net. Back to the point, this is Buchert. Buchert doesn't have a shooting lane, so he works it back to Kleist. Kleist to Buchert. Trying to find Kleist there, but puck is tipped out. Kings will be forced to regroup. He's going to cover up that loose puck. Let's get a little bit of extracurriculars behind the Navigator's net. Cooler heads will prevail. Some fresh faces will come out. And we'll get a face off to the blocker side of Christopher Key. Under one minute remaining here in the opening period. And just a minute left to work on this King's second power play, Gillingham. Not able to get much of a stick on it, and that one's gonna be covered up by Key as he gets dumped after the whistle. Forty-four point five now to work. here in this first period. Navigators come away with the draw. Doan chasing after it, he's able to chip it and get it out of the zone. Niven takes it all the way back behind his own net to reset and he starts the breakout up ahead. No passing or shooting lane there for Thompson. Gillingham comes away with it. Shot on that one's knocked aside by Key. 10 seconds just left here in this first period. And the Navs will clear, and that'll just about do it. 
for this opening period. Yellowney with his first of the season. As the Navigators on the board, it's the lone marker from the first period as North Peace leads it one to nothing over the County of Grand Prairie JDA Kings here at the Crosslink County Sportsplex at the second annual Northwest Junior Hockey League Showcase. We'll be back for second period action in just a bit.
And we're back for second period action here at the Cross Lake County Sportsplex to the North Peace Navigators in the County of Grand Prairie, JDA Kings. Currently 1-0 for the Navigators here at the second annual showcase. Game five of six on the schedule for this weekend. There is one more game tonight. That will come between Dawson Creek and Sexsmith. For now, as the penalty expired, team's back to even strength. Key thinks he has it, does not. Navigators luckily come away with it. That one gets worked up ahead. It's yellow the goal scorer puts it towards the net. Not able to come away with it. Yellowney finding himself open again. Chance, that one stopped by Fournier. Yellowney laughs that one off. He sees yet another grade A opportunity. It's goal in the first period, his first of the season. Came off as Dawson Briscoe held the zone for the Navs later in the period. And Puck found the stick of yellow knee wide open in front. He was able to bury his chance. Kings working back the other way. Navs come away with it. Pichette breaking out with it. Trying to pass that one across. Not able to find Ferguson. Back the other way come the Kings. Two on two. Drop pass. Somewhat worked out. So able to hold the zone. Navs work out the other way now. This is Cunningham gets pinned up along the boards by Heaton. And Kleiss chips it out for the Kings. Foot race now is Davey. Puck gets chipped in. That one can't find the stick of Cunningham and it's gonna come all the way back into the North Peace zone. So we're just about two minutes into this second period now. Shots 10 to seven now for the Navigators. Shots were eight seven after the opening period of play. Breaking in for the Kings is there. Looking to get on the board was Thompson, but that one gets worked back out. Thompson will try again. Sails that one into the corner. Dorham works it around the net, not able to find a Kings teammate. Thompson able to throw that one towards the net. Off the Navs turnover. This is Dorham. Pass across. That one is stopped by Key. It's Cody Graw able to break in, get a shot off. In good position. That one tipped a little high over the Navigators' net. Braden Bauman getting a shot at that one. Blocked before it gets to key. Shot, that one hits, I believe that hit, that may have hit the post. Didn't necessarily hear it hit the post. Cody Graw with a chance. Or the Kings in front. Good backhand opportunity. But at the very least, goes just a little bit wide. That'll keep the score at one to nothing for the Navigators. 16.23 to go here in the second period. Fossage shot on, that one's deflects off the skate. 
of Cole Isaac. Fournier, he stays with it though. And he makes his 11th, make that his 10th save of the game. Coming out the 11th shot from the Navigators, that is. Navigators win the draw, but goes to the Kings as they break out. And pinned along the boards as they fight for it. Chaston Paul back to get it. They're set up to Doan. That one's chipped. Cole Isaac breaks in for the Nats. He gets worked into the boards. And he's going to be feeling that one. No call. Play will continue. That one dumped in on Fournier. Isaac heads straight to the bench. Hopefully he's all right. He's going to take a step off now. Yeah, a bit of an awkward fall there for Cole Isaac. His training staff will go and check on him now. Face off just outside the navigator zone. Schlack trying to come away with it. He finally does. Gets it worked up ahead to him. Shot on that one's deflected aside by Fournier. Puck gets worked out in front. Kings come away with it. This is Gillingham. Streaking up the wing. That one goes in behind the net. Yellowney chips that one out. Schlack. Gets it into the corner. He's working with Briscoe. Briscoe behind the net gets knocked off the puck. Ends up on the stick of Yelleny who shoots it high. Puck chips and Rudick breaks out for the Kings. As he crosses into the nav zone, into the corner out in front. No teammate there, but it will go back to the point. Niven across to Heaton. That one, that shot's blocked. Rudick with a chance. Rudick, another chance. Neither shot able to get through. So the Navs are able to clear. Yelleny comes away with it, one on one. Yelleny not able to deke the defender as he gets knocked down. Kings come back the other way. Pass missed to Gillingham, no icing called. Play will continue. Puck gets worked out in front. Now into the corner. Nav skate away with it. Pichette. Off the deflection. Finds Cunningham who goes in behind the net. Cunningham then tries to find Ferguson to no avail. Nav's able to hold the zone. It's two on one now. Shot stopped by Fournier as he stays with it. Cunningham not able to fake the pass enough. Fournier stays with him and the puck deflected off the blocker and into the netting, out of play. 13-34 to go. <laughs> Face-off will come back to the blocker side of Fournier. Kings come away with it. This is Kleiss loses the puck. Back the other way, Ferguson loses the puck himself. Pichette and Davis will battle for it in the corner. Cunningham into leave some pressure for his teammate. Davis come away with it. Shot on, that one's blocked by Davis. Goes right back to the point. Dumas shot stopped by Fournier. He chips it back to the corner. Cunningham now in the corner for North Peace. Works it back out in front. Shot, that one's stopped. Oh, Fournier with a couple of beautiful saves. And the Kings back the other way.
California able to keep it a 1-0 game. A couple of very nice saves in tight. That one's almost a turnover. Phoenix Dumas loses his footing, though, at the blue line. Kings able to escape. This is Jonathan Noski. He loses the puck. Fawcett not able to hold. Mavs captain, forced to skate back and regroup. 12 minutes to go now. Second period. Still 1 0 for North Peace. Kings break in. Tripped up along the, along the boards there. Was Thompson. No call though. Play will continue. Fawcett breaks in. Three on two. Shot fanned on it. Jonathan Noski had the one timer chance, but he slipped. Not able to get the shot off. Euchre dumps it in for the Kings. Who chased it down? It's Buchert back in the corner. He was looking for Dorham, but not able to find him. Now it's back the other way. Heaton will chip it back in. And reset. That's going to be called for icing. 10.47 to go. It's the North Peace Navigators 1. County of Grand Prairie, JDA Kings, no score. Navigators looking to make it a clean sweep here at the at the showcase. As they won yesterday, taking down the Dawson Creek Junior Canucks 7-2. Kings looking to get their first win of the weekend. As they fell in the night contest last night by a score of three to one. That one to the Fairview Flyers. Fournier makes the stop on the point shot from Doan. He works it up ahead. Kings just chip it forward. Breaking in now. Petipas. That one stopped by Key. Puck in the corner now. That one hits the netting and goes out of play. Face off will stay inside the navigator zone. Shots now 16 to 12 in favor of the Navs. North Peace comes away with the faceoff, but it's turned over. Gillingham almost with a chance. Puck goes back into the corner. Knocked off the puck is Rudick. Forced to get up and chase back as the Navs break in. This is Schlack. Out in front, nobody there to pick it up for the Navs. They hold the zone, though. Schlack shot. That one goes high. Off the feed from Dawson Briscoe. We'll get a whistle here. Bringing the face off back inside the JDA King zone. 9.27 remaining in the second period. The score does remain one to nothing. Briscoe wins the draw. Kings come away with it though. Puck jammed up in the corner. Briscoe working with Schlack. It's Gillingham chasing it down for the Kings. Shot wide. 
Off the stick of Hartman. Kings maintain the zone though. Hartman trying to find it back, feed it back to the point. Eventually gets worked back there. Shot through traffic goes wide from Peter Davis. Kings hold again. Shot on, that one held on by Key. As Grant Yee steps in with the wrister. Face-off claimed by the Navigators. Kings are able to hold though, as Kleist works behind the net. Wrapping around, back to the point, this is Yee. Yee, he'll send another one, that one goes just high. Tanner Davey works it around, but the Navs come away with it. Chipping it high and now chasing after it. Ferguson with a chance. That's stopped by Fournier. Found himself in a bit of an awkward position. Still able to make the save. And that one's going to go all the way down for an icing call. 7.57 remaining. Second period. The score is still North Peace 1. The County of Grand Prairie 0. Face-off claimed by the Navigators. Goes back to Fawcett. Creates some space. Hooked up a little bit. Not able to get the shot off. Kings work back out. Fawcett gets a stick on it though and the Navs chip it back in to the Kings zone. Pichette chasing after it. Is Yee back to work? Goes in front of the net, almost turns it over. Strong forecheck here from the Navigators as they're able to regain possession. This is Pichette, shot on, stopped by Fournier. Yee picks it up. Stakes, skates back the other way. He chips, goes off for a change. Fresh legs for the Kings. As Pichette works that pass up. Trying to find Cunningham. Cunningham did not see it and that's gonna go for yet another icing. 7.04 remaining, second period. Shot 17 to 13 for the Navigators. Eden loses the puck, gets worked down into the corner. Chance in front, Key's gonna cover that up. Hartman and Thompson were working inside for the Kings. Nothing comes of it though. Face off to the blockers or the glove side. Key Navigators win it. Jonathan Noski works it up. Not able to chip it out. We got, we have a penalty coming up here to the Kings. As Key goes to the bench for the extra attacker, Navigators. Gonna milk some clock here, work it down in. Fournier will touch it. And the Navigators are gonna get their second chance to work on the power play. Is Brent Heaton, the Kings captain, is gonna go off for closing his, closing his hand on the puck. As he tried to hold the zone, grabbed it out of midair and threw it back into the zone. That's a big no-no, and that's gonna be two minutes in the box. So the Navigators will get their second chance with the man advantage, 0 for 1 so far in this game. Navigators will have to reset. As Pichette can't hold the line and his forward pass is tipped. Fawcett up to Pichette. 
They'll continue to work back and forth. Now it's Ferguson across the line. Works it across. Shot stopped by Fournier. Puck got worked across to Aaron Kuhn, who was stopped. 5.45 to go in the second period. Still one to nothing. For the Navigators. Minute 29 remaining in the penalty to Brent Heaton. Kings will try and kill some clock here, pinning it up along the boards. Bauman has that puck knock, knocked from his skates. Kings will clear. Able to reset. Back to get it is Tolson Fawcett for the Navigators. Grimshaw product works it up ahead. That's going to go for icing. So that pass was missed. All the way back down. Into their own end for the faceoff. Shots 18 to 13. For the Navigators as we're still working with a one goal game. Fawcett loses his footing. Ferguson dumps it in. Cunningham picks it up. Back around. Ferguson lets it go by. Fawcett at the point. Across to Pichette. Doesn't find his tape. Fawcett from the point. Quarterbacking. He spins. Working it around. Trying to find an open teammate. He gets the shot off. Stop by Fournier. Bit of a rough shift there, shift there for Keegan Ferguson. Knocked down, loses his glove, and gets into a bit of fisticuffs after the whistle, but nothing comes of it. Twenty-three seconds left to work on this Navigators power play. Their second of the game. Face off one. Back to the point. Is Dumas shot tipped just wide off the stick of Bella Rose. Back at the point. Shot stopped again by Wyatt Fournier. Jonathan Noski. With the shot. For the Navs. That one pinned up along the boards off the draw. The Kings penalty has come to an end. Both teams 0 for 2 now on the man advantage. Shot fanned on. It was Daniel Noski. Kings work back the other way. Trying to work that up ahead. It's Kyle Shea. He's having to fight off the defender, though. Kings retain. Back out in front. Key. Nice save in front. That'll go all the way down to Fournier, negating the icing. Kings to work back from their own end. Gillingham breaking in. Trying to find his teammate. That being Hartman. Gillingham breaking in. Down in the corner. That one gets picked up by the Navs though. Pin it along the boards. And are able to clear. Heaton back to pick it up. Wins the foot race. That one not able to get out of the zone. I believe a linesman got out of the way of that clearing attempt. Gillingham can't find Rudick. So the Navs break in three on two. 
Out in front, shot stopped by Fournier. He gets across, makes the nice save. Only wide open Cole Isaac. Good to see him back out on the ice. After taking a bit of a hit. Two thirty-one to go. Second period, still one nothing for the Navigators. Shots twenty to fifteen in favor of North Peace. Faceoff claimed by the Kings as they quickly break out the other way. This is Kleist chasing after it. He battles with Briscoe, pass across, not able to find his teammate in Ross. Navs go back the other way, they got numbers. Schlack, shot on, stopped by Fournier. Takes the tip from Fawcett, keeps the pad down. Keeps his game at one to nothing. And the Navs get called for icing here with a minute 58 to go. Face off to the glove side of Key. One by the Kings, shot on, stop. Pad saved by Key. We're gonna get the, get a whistle here as the ref blows it down for a high stick. Face off to come just outside the Kings line. Face off one by the Kings. Niven working it up ahead. Graw dumps it back in around the boards. Battle for it, that's one by Thompson. Davis trying to work it back around. Thompson has to go back and pick up his stick. Chance now for Davis, shot blocked. Daniel Noski able to get his skate on it, deflect it wide. Puck is chipped in. Teams battling for it as we're now under a minute to go here in the second period. What's been a scoreless second period. Kings looking to change that with numbers. Cross the line, Hartman stopped by Key and he hangs on. A shade over 47 seconds remain in the period. Kings retain possession, Rudick feeds that puck, puck out in front. Back the other way, come the Navs. Chance in, stopped by Fournier, another save. Off the rebound. Makes the initial save off Jonathan Noski. And Dylan Bellrose with a chance. To follow that up, but Fournier stays with it. A big period here for the Kings netminder. Stopped all 15 shots he's seen here in the second period. As that one's going to go for icing. 4.6 remain in the period. Fournier doing all he can to keep this a one goal game. And pick up his second win of the season. Face off one by the Kings, and that'll pretty much do it. As Heaton will work it into the corner and let the clock run out. So we head to the intermission. 
the score, North Peace one, County of Grand Prairie zero here at the second annual NWJHL Showcase. We'll be back for third period action in a bit.
Welcome back for third period action here at the Crosslink County Sportsplex. The second annual Northwest Junior Hockey League Showcase. It's game number five of six in which the North Peace Navigators lead the County of Grand Prairie JDA Kings one to nothing as we enter the final period of play. No scoring in the second period. The lone goal coming off the stick of Benny Yellowney back in the first period. That made it one to nothing and that is where we stand here in the third period. As the Navs looking to keep pace with the Fort St. John Huskies. Stay just one point back in the standings if they win this afternoon. Huskies picked up a big 8-1 win earlier this afternoon. Over the Fairview Flyers. We get our first whistle here of the third period. That's going to be an icing. It's going to so. Puck will come back down into the North Peace zone. Shot, that one goes just wide. Ross was able to snap the shot off, but it went just wide. Back to claim it are the Kings as they break back out. Across the red line, dumping it in. Puck is jammed up along the wall. Tulson Fawcett, the captain of the North Peace Navigators, works it out. That puck is turned over. Fawcett works back out. They have numbers working it up ahead. To Anderson, that one goes just wide off the backhand. Puck squirts out of the zone. Doan tries to pin it along the boards, but the Kings come away with it. Breaking back in, that's Thompson, or Heaton, I should say. Heaton trying to get off for a change, but has to go back and reclaim the puck for his squad. Heaton now able to get off. Puck worked along the boards. Coon working with Niven in the corner. Dorm not able to hang on to it. It's three on one for the Navigators. Schlack, shot. That one hits the post. Fournier gets some help from his old pal, the Iron. Keeping it one nothing. Chance in front, Thompson stopped by Key. From the point, Davis. Key sees it the whole way, and he gloves it down for the whistle. Ferguson blocks that crossing attempt. Navs gain possession, retreating back into their own end. Ferguson. Navigators break in two on one. This is Briscoe trying to break in, not able to get a shot off though. Oh, 
Looks like Ferguson may have uh, taken a bit of a tumble. He's holding his mouth going back to the Navigator's bench. Still holding it as he takes a seat on the bench, but he gets back up to join his teammates. Fawcett breaking in now for the Navigators. Pass across, and that one's going to be finished off. And it's a 2-0 lead for the North Peace Navigators. It's Tolson Fawcett. Nice cross-ice pass to Owen Chamberlain. Chamberlain with his fifth of the season. Makes it 2 nothing for the Navigators. That one coming at the 357 mark of the third period. Shot stopped by Key. Now it's breaking back the other way. Dumped along the boards was Cole Isaac. But we're gonna get a tripping call here. Coming to the JDA Kings. So nearly 30 seconds after going down 2 nothing, Grant Yee heads to the box for tripping. And for the third time tonight, the Navigators power play will go to work. Face off one, but not able to hold the zone. Pichette back. Regrouping for the Navs. Ferguson has that one bounce off his stick. He works it through he, the legs of Heaton. Doesn't have the numbers though. It's Fawcett holds the line. Pass across Pichette. Trying to glove that one down. This is Cunningham in the corner. Out in front. That one's cleared by the Kings. Aaron Kuhn not able to Maintain possession. Navigators back to work. Fawcett once again going end to end through the legs of Heaton as the two captains work in the corner now. Still jammed up in there and Navigators come away with it. This is Ferguson. Was it stripped by Cody Graw. The Kings once again clear. Now with less than a minute to work in the man advantage. That one nearly turned over. Cunningham waits for Ferguson. Can't get it across though. Pachette holds the line. That one's blocked. Tyler Buchert takes it off his skate. The Kings work back the other way. Deflected. And we'll get a face off as that goes out of play. 14, 05 remaining. Third period, 2 0 lead for the North Peace Navigators. Again, the Navigators looking to keep pace with the league's top, top team. The Fort St. John Huskies, who picked up an 8 1 victory earlier this afternoon. They now have 10 wins on the season, 22 points on the campaign. The Navigator sitting three points back at this time. Doan works in the corner. Back to the point. Shot, that one's blocked by Thompson. Saved by Fournier with the blocker. And they're able to clear and they kill off the penalty. The Navs now 0 for 3 on the man advantage. We get an icing call here as the penalty had expired by the time the Kings iced the puck. Bellarose wins the draw. 
Back to Paul Pellerose, shot goes just wide. Fawcett reclaims that dump. Bellarose chasing after it. Kings trying to work it up to Gillingham. No icing here. Gillingham comes away with it. Has it stripped away though. Shot stopped by Key, sees it through traffic. Gets it in the pads and he hangs on. Shots now 27 22. In favor of North Peace. Christopher Key, he stopped all 22 shots he's seen in this game for the Navigators. Wyatt Fournier with 25 saves of his own, 15 of those coming in the second period. Number of big saves in tight in that period. Unfortunately, he sees he and his team down 2 0. Kings maintain possession. Gillingham and Schlack go after it. Gillingham with a shot, stopped by Key. That puck is cleared out by the Navigators. Ferguson chasing after it. Gillingham able to maintain. Gillingham knocks down his man. That's Dawson Briscoe. Briscoe back up and he claims it for the Navs, who loses it. Rudick. Had it briefly, but Navigators reclaim. Briscoe chips it in. Schlack chases after it. He wins the race to the puck. He's waiting for numbers, though. As the Kings continue to work for it. Kleiss will pick it up in the corner. That one's held in the zone by Doan. That's just briefly. So the teams will make an exchange in the neutral zone. Eden trying to clear for the Kings. So this is Kleist across the blue line. He works along and Kleist sends his man to the ice, that being Blake Anderson. Kings maintain possession. Ross trying to work that back to Davey as Kleist and Briscoe in a battle. Kings again hold. Shot stopped by Key. That one, he scores. Key made the initial save. On the rebound though. Kings get on the board. Tanner Davey finishes that one off. And it's now a one goal game. Davey, sixth goal of the season. Now tied for the team lead with 15 points. And it's now 2-1 for the Navs. They're giving the goal to Brady Ross. So for Ross, that's his second goal of the season. The draw, Ferguson has his shot blocked. Puck down in the corner, that's Briscoe. Briscoe finds Schlack, Schlack loses the puck though. Kings, regain possession, chips it out. 
Thune makes the play up ahead to Schlack. Icing waved off. Anderson back to claim it for the Navs. Kings hold the zone. Looking to draw even in this contest. Davis not able to get a skate or stick on it. Kings all the way back into their own zone to pick it up. Doom is back to claim it for the Navs. Trying to work it across to Menin. They get it out. That ends up back on the stick of Brady Ross. The goal scorer for the Kings. Menin back to get it. It's pressured by Ross who comes up with it. Now he's working back Gillingham. Putting the hit on Cole Isaac. Menin and Rudick chase after it. Stick, looks like a broken stick there for Cole Isaac. So the Navs look to break out. Kings hold. Heaton works it all the way back. That puck softly shot in by Bailey Hartman. Christopher Key calmly makes the save and covers up. 7.45 to go. Third period, the score two to one for the North Peace Navigators. Kings looking to get back on the winning track after falling last night. The Fairview Flyers three to one here at the showcase. Kings looking for just their fifth win of the season. This one's glove save there by Fournier as Bellarose comes across the line. Fournier hangs on. Melrose wins the draw back to Paul. Fawcett shot through traffic, goes wide. Back to claim for the Kings. Not able to get it out though. Is Jeremy Niven. Shot, Melrose goes wide. Fawcett winds up, shot stopped by Fournier. That one tipped in front by Paul, it looked like. Jonathan Noski chips it back in for the Navs. Fawcett tips that one. Icing waved off. Kuhn pressured by Kleist, it appears. Nearly, that one is turned over. Kleist working along the boards for the Kings, chips it around in behind the net, but Fawcett picks it up for the Navs. Up to Bella Rose. He finds Chamberlain, who had the second goal. What would currently stand as the game winner for the Navigators. Kings working back. Ross has to knock that one down and has to retreat. Kleist not able to pick that up as Schlack works in for the Navigators. I no icing or no offside call. Irrelevant as they lose possession. No, we're going to get this one blown dead as ref calls a hand pass with 6.09 to go. Shots 29 25. In favor of the Navigators. The lead 2 to 1. So we hit the six minute mark. Kings 
Boom, trying to work that one up ahead to Ferguson. Not able to get a stick on it, though. Back the other way come the Kings. Chipping in is Bauman. Briscoe tied up along the boards by Hartman. Kings maintain possession. Shot. That one goes wide off the stick of Hartman. Kings maintain possession. Tip in front. Shot cleared away by Key. That puck was bouncing around there. Kings maintain. Shot stopped by Key. Puck ends up on the half wall. Kings pressuring up here in this third period. So the Navigators are just trying to hold on and come away with the sweep here at the showcase. Chasing after it is Anderson for the Navs. North Peace going off on a change though. It'll go all the way back. That's Doan picking it up. The Navs works that up to Isaac. Isaac back to Doan, shot. That one goes just high. Navs maintain, gloved down by Wyatt Fournier. He's gonna take the whistle, hang on. 4.43 to go. In this tightly contested contest between old rivals. Faceoff claimed by the Kings. As Heaton works back behind his own net. That one almost turned over. So now it's putting on the pressure, trying to maintain the zone. They do. That's Anderson who holds it in briefly. The puck ends up. Manin picks it and sends it back into the North Peace zone. Icing waved off. That one goes into the Kings bench. It looked like Blake Gillingham actually uh, doing his best Wyatt Fournier impression, catching that puck as it uh, came into the Kings bench, hands it back to the ref, and jumps on the ice. 4.15 to go here. Now it's claimed the face off. That's Paul gets the shot through. Steered aside. That one goes into the netting. We'll have yet another face off to the blocker side of Wyatt Fournier. Fawcett with it, sends it into the corner. Paul holds the zone. That one goes up into the netting. And again, we'll get a face off as the puck goes out of play. Face off one by the Kings. Paul shot on, glove down. No deflection, he sees it the whole way, and he covers up. Make that save, number 30 on the afternoon for the Kings netminder. Kings break out. Belarus picks the puck away for the Navs. He and Jonathan Noski are working in the King's end. Paul has his pass chipped. It's to Jonathan Noski as the Navs maintain possession here. 3-10 to go. Third period, 2-1. The Navigators lead this one. That puck is claimed. Brought in, shot stopped by Key, coming off the stick of Tanner Davey. That shot blocked by Jonathan Noski. Tyler Buchard and the Kings are forced to go back into the neutral zone and retry. Buchard and Paul. 
working in the corner. Now it's come away with it. Well, it's chipped off the skate of the Kings defender. Now it's back into their own zone. 2.25 to go. We'll be watching the Kings net. So there's a one goal game. And that shot nearly gets through. Not sure the ref knew from his angle that that shot got through the pads of Christopher Key and was sitting loose. Alert defender for the Navs was able to clear it away. But we're helped out. The Navigators that was, that is, were helped out by a quick whistle. 2.13 to go. Face off, blocker side of Key. That one's tied up on the face off dot. Now it's come away with it. Goes back into the neutral zone. Buchert back to get it for the Kings. Buchert pressured up. And the Kings are going to go to the power play. As Buchert was tripped up behind his own net. They're going to get their third chance to work as they try to tie this one up. Blake Anderson's going to go off. Minute 44 to go. It's Kyle Chappell. He's going to call timeout. As they look to tie it up. Blake Anderson's going to go off for two minutes here. Trying to add a little bit of pressure, maybe a little bit too much as he trips up. Tyler Buecher behind his own net. Fournier stays in his net for the time being. Face off, glove side of key, Fournier. All the way out to the top of the circle. Waiting to see who wins this draw. The Navigators come away with it. Fawcett works it down. Fournier. Fournier looks a little bit confused as to why there is no icing, but as the Kings are on the power play, the Navs are allowed to ice the puck. Breaking in. Hartman, shot stopped by Key. That one loose. Rudick not able to get a stick on it. Puck is cleared by the Navs. Fournier plays it behind and leaves it for Jeremy Niven. Niven up ahead. Kings looking to break it in. This is Rudick. Shot stopped by Key, sees it the whole way. Key hangs on, 55.8 to go. The Navs are going to hang on and win this in regulation. They're going to have to do it shorthanded. Anderson in the box for tripping. Face off. Claimed by the Kings and they clear. Gillingham in a race with Schlack. Schlack tries to beat it out. Gillingham ties him up though. Back the other way come the Kings. He Chips it in. The Navigator's clear. Fawcett just wide. Hartman works it around. 26 seconds to go. Briscoe dumps it back down. Niven forced to regain possession. Breaks back in. He's brought down. Ref's arm does not come up. And that one is cleared. Also wide. 10 seconds to go. 
Kings, if they're going to do it, they've got to work quick. Hartman feeds it right up. Rudick to Gillingham. Two seconds left. But it's chipped away. And the Navigators are going to hold on. Make that a clean sweep for the North Peace Navigators here at the County Sportsplex this weekend. Following a 7-2 win yesterday over the Dawson Creek Junior Canucks. They hang on. Survive the late pressure from the Kings. And take this one 2-1 to for their 10th win of the season. The record now 10-4-1. 21 points on the season, just a point back of the league leading Fort St. John Huskies. Wow, for the JDA Kings. They fall to 4 10 and 1 on the season. Sit just ahead of the Sundown Oilfield Services Sex Smith Vipers in fifth place. So we await our players of the game. Olsen Fawcett, the captain, takes home player of the game honors. Riley Kleist, who assisted on the lone goal for the Kings, takes home player of the game honors there. Final score from the Crossland County Sportsplex, it's North Peace Navigators 2. JDA Kings won. One more game still to come here tonight from the Crossland County Sportsplex. And that'll close out Showcase Weekend. 8 o'clock. The Sundown Oldfield Services Sexsmith Vipers will be taking on the Dawson Creek Junior Canucks. We'll see you then. <laughs>